This month I wanted to review a few techniques we learned before on another real gun safe opening job. This time we have a Centurion which is made by Liberty with a loss combination. This is a 6730 mounted vertical down with a regular spy proof SNG dial. I want you to experience with me when the first number is found which is usually the hardest part to get started. Now I'm going to attach my audio amp here which will help us in the manipulation process and also so you can hear along with me uh, what's happening inside the lock. Now I'm attaching my crow's feet indicators which like I said and I showed you in clips before this is what I use to manipulate with. It helps to see the markings much better. Now I'm starting by turning all wheels left and I'm going to park the wheels right around six, a few numbers away from my contact area. And I'm gonna go three times right to zero. And now I'm gonna be moving wheel two and three around right to start our manipulation process. Now notice how the crow's feet are pretty much exact. That's how you wanna make sure that they're lined up when you begin. See how they're the lines pretty much uh, match up? Now I'm going to run this dial fully all the way around so you get the full effect of how it looks to manipulate an SNG dial. We got the customer watching over our shoulder here. Okay, as we keep going, you notice we're in 75 and still looks pretty even. Now remember, we're looking for some type of a change in the indicators. So we just keep going along here and we just keep watching for any type of a change. 65, come on back, oh, look at that. Okay, notice how it's a hair better there. Okay, go to 62, let's see if we got anything else. Oh, still a little bit better. Okay, we'll go one more time, 60. And, okay, notice how I'm now consistently having better readings. That does not indicate a gate. The only time you get a gate is when you have a sudden change uh, from, let's say, high to low. But here I'm getting more of a constant good reading, which only means that there's a different profile in the wheel pack. So that does not indicate a gate. So you want to keep going. Okay, now we're back to where the lines are matching again. Now as you can see what happens is the nose bounces on the drive cam and it settles the fence on the wheels. Okay, actually now the readings are getting a little worse, which means the wheel pack is getting a little higher. But you want to keep going because sometimes you can find a gate will suddenly drop in even in a, a high spot in the wheel pack. So you want to always keep going. Uh, nope. See, actually, the readings are getting worse here, meaning the wheels uh, are actually, the wheel pack is actually uh, larger at this point. Okay. Now, I didn't get nothing going around that. So what do we do now? Okay, now we're going to do everything opposite. We are going to now park all the wheels right. Okay, now we're going to do everything opposite. We're going to park all wheels right, uh, a few numbers away from my contact point again. And now we're going to go three, num three revolutions left and begin our manipulation process at, let's say, 10. Okay, that's where we're going to start. So now we're running wheels two and three around left. Because when you run the wheels one direction or the other, believe it or not, a gate can show up in one way or the other. So don't think just because you run the wheels in one direction, you don't get a gate that you won't get it in the other direction. So now we will run the wheels left and see what happens. We'll go to 30. Okay, see how the lines are pretty much matching up there? So we're, now again, we're looking for any type of a change, but more of a sudden change. Now remember that where it like drops in and drops out. If you get a uh, basically a smooth transition from high to low, that's uh, not what we're looking for. Okay, again, we'll keep going so you guys can see what's happening here. 
Yeah, nothing yet. Nope. Go to 50. Line it up. No, nah, so our lines are still matching here. Actually, this wheel pack is real nice and even. Uh, there's not many uh, low and high spots in it. Sometimes you get wheel packs that are really all over the place. And that's why maybe sometimes the graphing will help uh, for you when you're first starting out. But like I said, I don't bother to graph because I just look for a sudden change and that's what I mark down on paper. I don't really bother with all these non-consistent uh, readings w for anything by writing them down. I just basically watch it for uh, anything good to change. Well, actually, now the wheel pack is getting high here. The readings are getting worse. <laughs> Come on now. We're looking for a good reading here. No, no good yet. 77 and a half. Remember, we're going every two and a half numbers now. 80. Come back. All right. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Whoa. Look at this, guys. Okay, we got a little bit better right there. Okay. Let's see what we get at 82. Does it stay the same or no? Look at that. It really changed. It dropped way out. Okay. That's what we're looking for. A change, an instant change. And it's still away. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and restart over and we're going to park again the first wheel at four. We're going to come three times left around, and we're going to start about seven numbers away from where we saw that good reading. Somewhere around there. Uh, so let's start at 76. Now we're only moving one number at a time and look for changes. And that's a high reading right there. So remember, we're only moving one number at a time now, and we want to find the true center. In other words, the center of the best reading. For the center of the gate, obviously. Okay, 78. Keep on going. Mm, nope, nothing there. Okay, 79. And, well, I'm feeling something. Oh, yeah, look at that. Much, much better. Okay, 79. 80. 79. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, 79, 80. We got, we got two good readings. Okay, 81. Now, remember... And 81 looks good. Now, if we want to see that the readings change here now. If they stay the same, that's not a gate. And, oh, yeah, look at that's a bad reading right there. So we had three good readings, which means we'll take the center number, which 80 is our number. Perfect. That's the first number of the combination. And then what I just did here is I just ran and found wheel number two real quick and then just walked one around and it opened up for me. I just wanted to show you what it was like to experience finding the first number. Profile of the door looks like a two and three quarters to bolt center. And here's the label. I hope you enjoyed finding the first number of the combination with me in this manipulation process.